As we surpass the halfway point of the 2016 Summer Olympics, athletes continue to impress and inspire. From finishing a race with one shoe on to becoming one of the most decorated Olympians of all time, these superhuman athletes have us gasping, crying and laughing. But it's not only gold medals that make history. Moments of sportsmanship, resilience and talent also mark some of the greatest events during this year's Games in Rio. Check out the 10 greatest moments from the 2016 Olympics, so far. American Abby D'Agostino and Mickey Handlin Tangle there were two casualties during the women's 5,000-meter race, but their tumble became one of the most inspirational moments of the Rio Olympics. American Abby D'Agostino and Mickey Handlin, of New Zealand, tangled and both ended up on the track in the second heat. It ended their hopes for an Olympic medal in that contest. But instead of quit or point fingers, they both showed amazing sportsmanship. D'Agostino got up to help Handlin, who was sprawling on the ground. Then as Dagnostino hobbled on what appeared to be a right ankle injury, Hamblin tried to help her continue. In the end, Hamblin finished in 29th place, one ahead of D'Agostino. The pair embraced at the finish, before D'Agostino was taken from the track in a wheelchair. Ethiopian runner Teneshtiro qualifies with one shoe. Now that's a remarkable feat. Ethiopian runner Teneshtiro showed her resilience when she was brought down and forced to race with only one shoe during the Olympic trials on Saturday, August 13. Despite only wearing one shoe, the athlete qualified for the final of the 3,000-meter steeplechase. Clashing with two other runners, Diro tore off her damaged shoe and continued the race. Ultimately finishing the race 20 seconds slower than her personal best, Olympic officials granted her a special spot for the finals on Monday in which she placed 14th. Michael Phelps wins 28th Meta. Michael Phelps ended his record-breaking career as the most decorated athlete in Olympic history. Leading the U.S. to victory in the 400-meter medley relay, Phelps retired with his 23rd gold medal, 28 medals total. No other Olympic athlete has even exceeded 9 gold medals. 1,000 golds for the U.S. The U.S. won its 1,000th Olympic gold medal on Saturday after the women's 4x100 meters medley relay. Arriving in Rio with 977 gold medals, the country took the games by storm. Of the 1,000 gold medals, more than half have come from track and field and swimming, reports. U.S. gymnast Simone Biles With gravity-defying moves, 19-year-old American Simone Biles has been described as one of the greatest gymnasts ever. As the New York Times describes the Texan team's skills as superhuman, jumping higher and twisting more than anyone else in the competition, Biles has dominated Olympic gymnastics this year. Claiming gold titles for women's individual and team all around, Biles also received a gold for the vault and a bronze for the beam. Fiji First Olympic Medal The small South Pacific Island won its first Olympic medal this year, and it's gold. The country erupted in celebration when the Fijian rugby team beat Great Britain with a 43-7 victory on Friday, August 12. The Prime Minister of the island even declared August 22, the day the team will return from Rio de Janeiro, as a public holiday. Many Fijians are also pushing to make the English rugby coach of the Fiji team, Ben Ryan, an honorary citizen of the country. A Chinese swimmer didn't realize she had won the bronze. Rather than hopping out of the water in joyous victory, this swimmer had no idea she had placed third in the women's 100-meter backstroke until a reporter told her. In the middle of her defeat speech, the bronze medalist, Fu Yuanhui, was interrupted when she's told of the surprising news. I came in third? In that case, it's not bad at all. She replied. Yuanhui's reaction was caught on film during an interview with China Central Television and she's quickly become a social media sensation. Shawnee Mildove for gold. Although it's not into a pool, diving is still considered legal in Olympic running. Bahamas runner Shawnee Miller beat seven-time medalist U.S. athlete Allison Felix when she dove across the finish line during the women's 400 meter. Giving her the seven hundredths of a second needed to get the gold, the dive is considered legal although controversial. According to Olympic rules, the win is determined by which athlete has any part of their torso across the finish line. U.S. swimmer Katie Ledecky set a new world record. Katie Ledecky set the new world record for the 800-meter freestyle. 
At 8 minutes and 4.79 seconds, Ledecky beat her previous record by nearly 4 seconds. Outgracing the silver medal winning British swimmer Jazz Carlin by 11 seconds, Ledecky took home her fourth gold medal for 2016. Monica Pug became the first woman medalist for Puerto Rico. Saturday marked a big day for women in Puerto Rico as tennis player Monica Pug became the first woman in history to take home a medal for the island. But that's not the only historical takeaway of Pug's big win, Pug is also the first person to win a gold representing Puerto Rico. Shaking with tears of joy from the victory, the tennis player defeated German athlete Angelique Kerber. Mo Farah defended his 10,000-meter title after a fumble. At one moment, I thought my dream was over, my race was over. I tried to be tough, and that is what I did, Mo Farah told BBC Radio 5 Live. Fearing his Olympic dreams were in jeopardy, the British runner proved his strength to the world. Despite getting knocked down in the beginning of the race, Britain's most successful track and field star and three-time medalist rose back up, catching up to lead the other competitors and ultimately sprint to the finish line to win the gold.